In this video, I'm going to provide a brief overview of getting started with audio inside of Unity. The first thing that you need to double check, and it does come in set up as a component by default, is your main camera. If you go into your scene and click on your main camera, or use the hierarchy to click on it, you're going to want to check on the inspector. By default, the main camera that is generated whenever you create a new scene in Unity should have an audio listener assigned to it. The audio listener is the way that you can actually hear sound effects and music inside of Unity. Now the next item you're going to need is you're going to need to download an audio source file. With audio, there are several different forms that can be accepted by Unity. And what I did was I chose to make an another assets folder called audio where I stored some audio that I downloaded from pixabay.com. As far as the load types, there's not a lot to get started here that you need to do here. The biggest thing is, is if you are interested, you can see your two channels, but also you can play and preview your audio in the background here. From an editing audio standpoint, you don't have a lot of control inside of Unity. I'd encourage you to look into something like Audacity, which is a free open source piece of audio software that you can download and make edits to your audio as you see fit. Now let's go ahead and actually add our audio to the scene. So I'm going to come into the hierarchy and right click and I'm going to choose audio and I'm going to make an audio source. This is going to hold my music piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of rearrange this just so you can see the audio icon. Now what you see here is the audio areas as far as that blue circle is concerned and how far out the audio will be heard. You can actually click on the vert each vertex and it will expand out for you or you can shrink it down. Now before we get into that though and look at that more closely, you're going to need to have the audio source highlighted and under inspector you want to find audio source. There should be an item here called audio clip which by default says none. We haven't actually assigned an audio to be associated with this yet. So using the bullseye at the end, I'm going to go ahead and click, and since I only have one audio file in my Unity project, I'm going to go ahead and choose Fairy Tale. I'm going to X out of that, and actually at this point I could go ahead and test my project. I hit play, and the audio is playing in the background. However, just stopping here, that is actually makes it a little bit more difficult. Because what we are working with here is audio in a 2D format here. Now, down at the bottom here, you have a lot of different options, including some of the ones I'd like to draw your attention to from an introductory level, is play on awake and loop. If you want the music to continue to play in the background, I'd encourage you to check loop. You can also change volume, however, Another thing that you might want to work with is Spatial Blend. By default, when you pull audio into Unity, it's going to default to 2D. When 2D audio, no matter where you place the audio source, it's going to play at full volume. If you want to have control whereby you can actually change as far as depending on where the location of the character or player is and have the audio fade in and out, you're going to want to come down and change the Spatial Blend over to one and make it 3D audio. So now if I go ahead and pull my audio here, I'll pull it across the area here far away from the camera, and I go ahead and play my project now, it might be hard to hear, but you can hear that the audio now sounds much softer. I haven't changed the volume of the audio at all, so if a player got closer to it, the audio's volume would increase. This is great for sound effects and also changing between areas and realms in a game environment. However, if I go ahead here now and coming back into as far as the area using my sound controls here, I can expand this out and hit play. And despite the actual audio source icon not being close to my main camera icon, because I changed as far as the area of the audio will be heard, the camera picks it up at full volume. 
So this is another way that when you're working with an audio source and getting started in Unity, this is a nice quick way that you can kind of control as far as effects and also volume control for each of your audio pieces. For more advanced audio controls, we often shift into C sharp at that point and do some scripting as far as the controls go. However, just using the audio source and working with the area and making sure that your spatial blend is set to 3D, you can get a lot done whenever you're working with audio.